what is going on it is red infamy and i have another red unboxing had to do it and ghosts of sue she she as a hip-hop call it and i as well we was trying to we was debating on who said it first but i will say he does do the nicknames all the time for the games it's and everything so ghost of tsushima uh, one of my most anticipated games uh, of this year, aside from Cyberpunk 2077. I've been waiting for that game for a very long time since it's been announced. And we got the Collector's Edition. Now, there are... Sorry if my green screen is acting crazy. I don't know what's going on, but whatever. Um, so, uh, there's two special editions. There's a deluxe edition where it just comes with the uh, steel box. Uh, that one I had first reserved because I couldn't find one of these. Um, my homeboy Ramsey was like, yo, Target had it. Failed at getting it from Target. Then GameStop out of nowhere was like, we have more in stock to reserve. And then my good friend, um, the Lee Ace, Chris, um, mm -hmm. He was like, yo, did you like get it? Like he's into samurai stuff. I'm into samurai stuff too. So we are geeking out over this game and I couldn't wait to uh, get into it. So yeah, like I mentioned, I love samurai stories. I can't wait for uh, Yasuke, the black samurai story to come out. For all those that don't know, there was an actual real black samurais. So let's get right into it. You already know I got my knife. Shouts out to uh, Black Hawk can't wait um, for his. So he made a uh, Ghost of Tsushima drink. So we have that inbound uh, right after this to show y'all a Geek Game Tight original uh, as far as the the um, Ghost of Tsushima drinks and stuff. So sorry if I'm peeking. I don't know if I am or not, but we are going to be. But this is the top cover. It came in a beautiful, like, really... GameStop did their thing with protecting this box because um, I've been having some really bad experiences with Amazon as of late. But this is the top. I have a pen. I have two pens, actually. Um, a red pen like this and a gold one. I have to try and find it. But let's just show the contents of the box. Right. Um, yeah, that's a, pretty much the contents of the box. So uh, as you see, and sorry if my, I don't know why this is acting like this, but it comes with a mask. It comes with a steel book. Um, it also comes with, let's see, that's, that's like a better representation. Uh, the steel book, the mask, the art of Ghost of Tsushima. I think these are like some scrolls right here uh, and some digital items. They do have a list. So it comes with the custom steel book of the game, the Sakai mask and stand, the Sashimono uh, war banner, the Furoshiki wrapping cloth, um, which is the cloth map of the island of Tsushima, a 48 page mini art book by Dark Horse. Dark Horse is always coming through. And like I mentioned, those DLC items that you get as well. And um, there's a director's commentary roundtable discussion uh, from the creative team that worked on this. I think they also uh, had a renowned, yeah, renowned Japanese historian to look at the world of the Ghost of Tsushima and how it compares to the real life events that inspired it. So if y'all don't know, this game was inspired by historical events of uh, of Tsushima Island. So that's what the game was inspired by. So Sucker Punch, of course, created this. What I love about Sony exclusives and from a lot of their um, studios is they tend to go out of the box from what they normally work on. And that's what I love to see. So I love that creative freedom when we get great games like this. So had, ooh. Oh wow, this is like a really dope, really dope 
collector's box. <laughs> this is really nice and sleek, very simplistic um, with the collector's box. So I'm appreciating that a lot. I had to get this collector's item. Um, I said I wasn't gonna get the um, Last of Us collector's item. There's nothing special within this. It's just the top of the box. Very nice and sleek to put somewhere. Um, it comes with this, wow, they did. Okay, this is what I pay for with collector's editions. I love that my money is being, like that's what a collector's edition is all about, is your money is being spent correctly. Like, let me feel special. That's the whole reason why I invest in the special thing is to feel special. They have this wrapping paper. And yes, a simple touch like that means a lot. It's just like getting a gift and you have like that special wrapping paper when you buy something expensive at, you know, a fashion house or whatever and they give you that really dope whatever wrapping paper. But there go the Sakai mask right there. And I just love, I don't know, I guess like, I love presentation. So on the side, um, of how, besides just the wrapping paper, and yes, I'm geeking over wrapping paper. <laughs> uh, this is how it looks, and it comes already on the side package with the steel book. Okay, so already packaged with the steel book and also the art book. So this is right upside down. This is the art book, which they mentioned is 48 pages. Dark Horse, they always work with Dark Horse for their art books. As you know, I had got. to kind of like flip through i like to show just a little bit not a i don't like to show all of it so i'm skipping some pages and sorry that it is on that okay so this is the front this is the back and this is it's kind of awkward doing this this is the spine we got the still book. Y'all know I collect still books. Um, let me see if I could, if it's too light. But y'all know I definitely collect still books. So this still book is, um, I love how you is sleek, unique, is black and gold. Um, but it has this type of like, not the term that you call it. Like it's kind of withery in there. Like it's not so profound of a design but you can still make out that it is a samurai i, I forgot his name <laughs> but um with it i see what's inside so i do get the dlc voucher the dynamic theme now what's what's crazy about this is oh i love the ins i love when the inside of a steelbook has some art so it comes with a voucher and this is not like the flimsy paper with this one. So it comes with a voucher for the dynamic theme, um, which I'm going to make sure I put that in the end game skin. You have um, a technique point charm of Hachiman's favor. And like I mentioned, a director's commentary um, with the historian to see if things are like historically correct or how they match up to what the game was trying to perfect. Uh, so this is inside. I'm trying to see if it doesn't give off too much of a glare. But of course we have the game. And then inside we have the art that's inside the still book. So my still book collection is coming up. I will be making that video on my still collection book collection uh so that is a still book and it has a sucker punch sorry on the back that is the spine with the gold i love the gold font and then of course that is the front of the steel book i love i love collecting collector's editions like it's like a little gift to myself <laughs> like or even when i receive them in the mail but um this is the stand to the mask Put that in here. 
life. Wish I had a kunai or something. I need some kunais. Or a tanto or something. I'll be dope. I wanted Fu's Tonto from um, Samurai Champloo, which is a favorite anime series of mine. So this is the, uh, it's plastic. Um, it's a plastic sand. It's not something that is like wooden or anything like that. I thought that would have been pretty dope. That probably would have put the price up more. But like I mentioned, I love collector's editions that make sense with the price. That LE joint was a no. A one hell no for me. Like my sister, <laughs> Minnie Feetly says, I'll be a one hell no for me. So, um, this is a cloth, I guess. Nothing too special. I mean, I won't know until the game, like until I play the game. But the cloth, like this goes in here like so. And then we're going to, as we get more and more of this stuff, then we'll, um, so I guess this is the battle. Whoa, this is large, no pause. <laughs> but um, this is the, I guess the banner. And I guess I'll learn more and more what this symbol actually means um, as a, one of the symbols. This is long, this is really nice to put up in an office, in your room, if you want to kind of decorate it a certain way. Um, so this is pretty dope. You would pretty much kind of put this, this is like a flag, like you would put this on some, either hang it up or put it on a pole for the flag, you know, have a flag like that. That would be pretty neat to see how that will all go about if somebody had put it in their whole decor. Wow, we have some more tapestries. Uh, so this is the map. But there's like fine detail the way they have it. Of course it's a map, but it's like the, the artistry of it is really cool. Um, so it's saying Toyotama, Toyotama Kamiagata and Izuhara. I guess different sectors of everything. And I guess you would have it up like so if you want to, like a scroll. I guess this is the scroll. Um, these are really cool things to like frame, you know, as a fan or a newfound fan of the game. Like I said, I like a lot of samurai stuff, so. shipping out. Wow. Yo. Okay. This has some weight to it. And I heard that it, it smells really funny, but what? This has some weight. Like this feels like I went to Japan and copped a mask. Like that's how it feels. Like I understand it's plastic and it's some heavy plastic, but the faux, they did a really great job on the faux-ness of it. <laughs> um, and it smells really funny because of the plastic. But let's get some, let's get more into that with the detail like the detail on this is really cool and like i mentioned for those who are collector aficionados of like gaming like gaming collector's editions you know when you spend money on these things it's a little investment but it's it's for your fandom or what you love and you don't want to get gypped and cheated i've had a couple of collector's editions that i'm like why are these statues so flimsy like the Sekiro one I got I broke the damn foot taking it out <laughs> like it was just really cheapish like and I've had other collector's editions that wasn't so this right here was well worth it so yeah everything doesn't have to be a statue all the time everything it could be all kind of stuff like the um yeah one of the Yakuza I think Yakuza 6 collector's edition I had was the uh glasses 
was nice. But this is, this is really, this collector's edition I really enjoyed because the things that I have, are, the things I got from it are really, they're functional. Like I will have this on my desk sitting. I can have this on my desk. I can have these different scrolls and stuff hung up somewhere in the decor of my home. Like it's not too juvenile, like it's not kiddie-ish or whatever. Like, and I don't mind things like that. But the tone of the game really sets off the collector's edition, of course. And they did a really, whoever worked on this project did a really great job with the collector's edition, hands down. Like, to say it's so simple is one of my favorite collector's editions. I'm trying to see what else is like a favorite of mine. Um, but this is really dope. I really, really love this one. I don't know if I'm going to keep that cyberpunk collector's edition. I don't know. I was like, eh. That joint is 250. I don't know. Somebody wanna buy it? Because I don't like the only thing I would keep is a still book. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the this the I don't know, y'all. Let me know if I should keep it. The the Cyberpunk Collector's Edition. If y'all want to see me unbox a Cyberpunk Collector's Edition, let me know in the comments below. Uh let me know how you feel about these unboxings as well. The red unboxings. And stuff i didn't this time say take the drawers off <laughs> but um let me know what you think about the the unboxings also if you do collect um some collect collectors items in gaming let me know please tag me i am on twitter instagram wow green screen wow rude but i am on all social media platforms so please let me know in the comments below if you do collect uh, collector's editions and gamings, movies, whatever the case may be, please let me know below. If you want to share any, tag me on Instagram, some of your collector's items that you have in your set, in your home, your gaming setup, whatever the case may be. If you have still books, let me know. Let me see your still books. Just tag me below uh, too. And also let me know if I should do an unboxing on Cyberpunk with that collector's edition because your girl is really... It's, uh, it's really like, I don't know. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please stay tuned and make sure you go and watch uh, Casey, AKA the Tipsy Geek, AKA Black Hawk, who is gonna make some Ghost of Tsushima themed drinks to get you through this game. You know, on your grown tip, just sit back, sip something that's really nice. So stay tuned. Uh, that should be somewhere over here. Uh, once that goes live and really excited to kind of get those um, up and running. So yeah, we have a whole theme of Ghost of Tsushima cocktails just for you all to check out. So until then, Geek Game Tight, make sure you check it out. Red Infamy, y'all can find me on everything. And I will catch you all out later. Peace and thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Bless.